So today we're going to talk about systems for success. Whether you're new in sales and just starting out, or whether you're a veteran, a seasoned veteran, and you've maybe fallen into a, a, a period of time where your sales are flat, or your energy doesn't feel good, you, you really need a system for success. There's, there's two systems that I want to talk about. There's a system for selling, and there's a system for managing who you are. Managing yourself. So let's start with managing the self. So this is what I call the self, in quotes. Most of us believe our thinking. So in the days, especially where you have a lot of windshield time, often you'll have thoughts that come into your head. If you're new, the thoughts will be, why are you doing this? You've had nothing but rejection. You're never going to make a living at this. You better quit. These are your thoughts in your head. Veterans are riding along thinking of everything that they, every mistake they've ever made, every big sale they've ever lost, and it comes into their head, their own thinking, out of nowhere. And so what do you do with that? So managing the self, you first begin to notice the thinking. You have to become the observer of your thinking. Become the observer of your thinking. Once you become the observer of your thinking, you'll notice negative streams of thinking. So you want to notice negative streams. And there's various ways to exercise your mind to discipline that thinking out of your mind. And so it can be as simple as taint so. It can be as simple as you're dismissed. Thank you for sharing. My ego brain, my monkey mind. The Buddhists call it monkey mind, that mind that likes to make us less than or more than anyone else. So if you think of the ladder of life, we spend most of our time in our brain racing up and down it. We're more than some people and less than others. And the truth is, we're all the same when we shed this body. We're all the same. There's nothing left but the essence, the consciousness, the soul, whatever you want to call it. So you say to me, well, why is that important in sales? Well, if you're more than someone, you're going to come off as arrogant. If you're less than someone, you're coming off without any confidence. Who wants to buy from someone that's like a weak noodle? I mean, spaghetti is nice to eat, but it's not nice to hold. It's slippery and it falls apart. That's what you would be like as a salesperson to other people. You'd appear slippery and weak and hey, yay, hey, hey. And if you were arrogant, you would appear like spaghetti before it's cooked. <laughs> A stiff rod that could be snapped in half. Arrogant people have an anger. You need to deal with that. If you're angry, it's not going to help you succeed. If you're bitter, it's not going to help you succeed. So what you want to learn, become the observer of your thinking.